This past Sunday, I met up with some cousins on my father's side of the family. One of those cousins I have not seen since I was probably a little kid, so we're talking about 10 plus years, roughly, since the last time I saw him. And the other cousin, I saw her a couple of times since last year when me and my father started speaking again after five years of not talking to each other. But I haven't really spoken to her that much, so me and her still had quite a bit of catching up to do. It was a pretty decent afternoon. We spent it at a mall. I was with those two cousins, my aunt and one of my cousin's little kids. We went to a restaurant, had some lunch together, and I think it could have gone way better. Not saying anything bad happened, but... God damn, my shyness really got in the fucking way. Eee, there he goes again, talking about his anxiety for the million fucking times. Yeah, I yeah, am, fuck off. Anyway, I really do hate living life like this. You may think I'm a good speaker from these videos that you listen to, but these are really the only things you know about me. You don't know how I interact with actual people in the real world and not just speaking into a microphone, essentially to myself. I am a stuttery fucking mess in real life. And I hate it so damn much, especially around people I either don't know or haven't seen in a long time, like that cousin I mentioned earlier. And I wish things were different. So many times I leave conversations in real life with regret. Regret that I didn't say this, I didn't say that, I wasn't expressive enough, I made myself look like a fucking idiot in front of this person. All of these feelings come like a fucking tidal wave every time I exit a conversation with a person. And I am so damn sick of it. And I feel this way because anxiety rears its ugly fucking head every time I talk to a person. No matter how close I am to that person, I just clam up. I want to say something, but I don't say it because stupid fucking anxiety keeps me from saying what I want to say. I could be in the middle of a fucking sentence and then I become a stuttery mess because mid-sentence I get all these thoughts in my head like, you're just making a fool out of yourself. You're just embarrassing yourself. What you're saying here is stupid. So then I second guess what I'm already saying and then I just stop mid-sentence and become a stuttery mess like I said. It is so frustrating. I can't hold a regular conversation with a person because my anxiety is is that fucking bad. Really, the only thing I'm competent at is making these videos when it comes to speaking. Because this is just me talking to myself at the end of the day. Yeah, I know people watch these videos. People like these videos, surprisingly. But at the end of the day, I'm in my room by myself, not talking to another person so I don't have to face any judgment and have to second guess what I'm saying mid-sentence because no one is here to listen. Physically, I mean. I mean, yeah, sure, there's commenters saying, you're fucking stupid. This video was a waste of time. And whatever, those are just anonymous people on the internet. That, that doesn't really get to me all that much. But if that person was here face to face, that would utterly destroy me. I tried therapy a few years ago. That did jack fucking shit. The same problem arose during my therapy sessions. I would be in the middle of a fucking sentence, think what I'm saying is stupid, wasting that therapist's time, even though it was their fucking job to listen to my problems, but I would think maybe my problems are just stupid and not worth hearing, even to a therapist. So when it comes to getting help, I really don't know what to fucking do. But when the problem gets in the way of catching up with people who you haven't spoken to in literally over a decade, that's when you know you really need to change shit. But the problem is, I don't know what the fuck to change. You know, I've tried so many ways to be more social, be a better speaker, be a better... I guess, be better at conversations. I don't know how exactly to put it. But it has always failed. And, you know, anxiety aside, it really wasn't that bad of a time with my cousins. It was nice seeing them again. But I hated just being mostly silent. Wanting to say things, but too afraid to say them. And I know, the irrational fear of judgment is just that. Irrational. I know, I probably won't get scrutinized like I always think I'm going to every time I have a conversation with a person. But that does not stop these thoughts from arising. That does not stop these thoughts from hindering my interaction with other people in the real world. You know, I beat myself up a lot. Mentally, I mean. You know, I'm always very judgmental of myself. I always think I'm making myself look like a fucking idiot. Maybe I'm just afraid of someday meeting a person who is about as nasty to me as I am to myself. 
I don't know. That's how I'm trying to rationalize it right now. The person you interact with the most is yourself. You live with your thoughts 24-7. There is no escape. And if those thoughts are telling you that you're a worthless human being, and what you're saying is pointless and stupid and just a waste of everyone's time, you're gonna fucking believe it. And you're going to think that other people think exactly the same. But these are just the thoughts that I live with. And I've lived with for a good chunk of my life. That's why I talk about my anxiety a lot. That's why I've made so many videos at this point about my anxiety because it is just such a huge issue in my life. It has been such a huge detriment when it comes to my interactions with other people. I see people who are the social butterfly, the life of the party, the person everyone wants to be around. And I so fucking wish I could be that person. But no, I have to be me. I have to be the overly awkward, extremely anxious person who suffers with depression. Maybe I am just destined to live this way. I don't know. I'm only 20 years old. There's plenty of room to change, I assume, but I don't know when that change will come. And I don't know if I'm even capable of making that change in the first place, but yeah, that's my TED Talk. <laughs> uh, if you can relate with this, then... Cool, I guess. Well, maybe not cool, because you're probably about as miserable as I am. But cool in the sense that I'm not alone, at the very least. And maybe this was cathartic for you to listen to. It was kind of sort of cathartic for me to make, and that's really all that matters at the end of the day. Here's to a better future. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. I kind of sort of doubt it, but... Positive vibes regardless, I guess? Anyway, that's all I have to say. Bye bye